Hey girl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today we're going to address that curly hair product junkie stash that's in your bathroom. Do you really need all of those hair products? I mean, who was the one that convinced you to buy all those products? Oh, it was me? My bad. What I'm gonna talk about is not what brands want me to tell you, okay? So we gotta keep this between us. Don't tell them that I told you this. Pinky promise? Put up your pinky, come on. Okay, we're good. Now today's video is inspired by my curl friend, Lisa. Her Instagram is Lisa a la mode. You guys should check out her vlogs and blogs. And she tweeted, I find that one becomes a product junkie when she has not yet embraced her true natural texture and is therefore always on the hunt for a product that will manipulate her hair into something it isn't. And I was like, dang, that's deep. There's a lot of truth to that. Yes, there's a lot of us that just enjoy buying new products, but sadly, there is a large chunk of people in the natural hair community that are just buying products to try to change or manipulate their natural curl pattern. So that is the main issue that I think we all have to overcome in the natural hair community is to love your curl pattern, no matter if it's a, B, C, one, two, three, four, five, or six. You gotta just rock what you're working with because every hair type is beautiful. Every time I post my curly hair product collection videos, I always get hashtag goals. I need to go out and buy more products. I wish I had that in my room or my bathroom. No. I'll admit, it's ridiculous. No one should have that many curly hair products. No one needs that many hair products. And the only reason I have as many hair products as I do is because it's my job. It's my job to try new products, I review them, and I let you guys know if they're worth it or not. That way you don't waste your money. So although it definitely helps me in my sponsorships, if you guys go out and buy the products I recommend because it makes me look really good, but at the same time, I don't want you guys to feel like you need to buy everything I recommend. I'm just recommending things so you guys know that there are many options out there. So although many of you think my product stash is hashtag goals, the only goal that I want you to have is to have healthy hair. The goal should be to find products that work for your hair. I posted this thought about hashtag goals in my Instagram story and I said that if it were up to me, and I wasn't doing this as a career, I probably would own like 10 hair products. 10, that's all I really need. And many of you wrote me and said, which 10? Well, since you asked, how many hair products do you actually need? Um, let's name them. You would need, if we we're gonna give you like the maximum amount of products, if you had one of every type, that would mean a clarifying shampoo, a conditioner, a deep conditioner, a leave-in conditioner, a cream styler, a gel, an edge control, maybe a protein treatment, a dry shampoo, a co-wash, that's 10 right there, that's pretty solid. If I had to throw in some extras, maybe a hairspray, maybe a pre-poo, maybe a shine spray, and maybe a detangling like refresher spray. That's a total of 14. If you had one of each type of product, that would be 14 products. Not bad. That's a decent collection where you're just absolutely set. If I really broke it down to the bare necessities, I'd probably say a shampoo, a deep conditioner to replace your conditioner, and a styling product. Your choice. Now you only have three products and you can survive off of these three. Crazy, right? So I'm gonna go over all of my favorites today in each of those categories. Now let's go off the, the larger list just so you guys know which are my favorites. Shampoo, if I had to have a shampoo, I'd probably go with the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Shampoo. I love the shampoo because it's a drugstore, very affordable. It has shea butter, peppermint, and apple cider vinegar. So I like that it has apple cider vinegar to really clean my scalp because I hate 
doing apple cider vinegar rinses. It smells, it's messy. I'm just not a DIY girl. I do it for you guys, but I really hate doing it. So I honestly haven't used this shampoo in a while. It's very runny. That's actually the normal consistency of it. But this has been a favorite. Before this, I probably would have said the Diva Curl Build Up Buster, but as many of you know, we're not using Diva Curl at this time. So I feel like there's another favorite that I'm not thinking about, but this is the one that really comes to mind, this shampoo. If I had to choose one conditioner, I probably would go with the Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream Conditioner. Carol's Daughter is a finicky line in the sense that some of their products do have silicone, some of them don't. But this conditioner is their silicone and sulfate free one. It has amazing slip, smells great, and it's just so easy to detangle. If not this, probably just any not your mother's conditioner. These are also all great. But if I had to choose, maybe Carol's daughter. Let's just go with that one. All right, so I got my shampoo and I got my conditioner. Now we need a deep conditioner. As many of you guys know, my favorite deep conditioner is still the Not Your Mother's Matcha Green Tea and Wild Apple Blossom Conditioner. Super affordable, smells amazing, good slip. If I wanted a little more pricier deep conditioner, I would go with my Curl Smith Hydro Cream Soothing Mask. These are my two favorites, drugstore high end. Now let's talk about stylers. Gels are my personal favorite. Many of you guys already know what I'm about to grab. Say with me if you want to guess. Dippity do girls with curls jelly. This is probably my favorite gel. I've never had a bad hair day when I use this. If I need to go out and I'm just like, look, I have no time for games, I'll grab my dippity do. But when it comes to like recommending gels to you guys, I'd probably go with my curl keeper gel. This is a super close second. Like if this is a hundred, this is like a 99.8. And sometimes I really can't choose between the two. This one, it's just easier to find because you can order it straight from their website. This one, you have to go on a wild goose chase and hope to find it at select Marshalls. Unless you live in Canada, then these are easily found. This is actually a Canada brand too. Canada makes really good gel. Just notice that. Cream styler. If I had to choose one cream styler, it'd be between the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Cream, the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie, or the Trey Lux. 4-in-1 Hydrating Cream. These are all really good and I get really good results out of all of them. Um, I think the best smelling one, oh, that's nice and sweet. Ah. Smell-wise, it'd be between these two. Price-wise, it'd be this one. Most easily accessible, mm, maybe Shea Moisture might be easier to find. I don't know. I'm not really good at narrowing these down, am I? I thought this would be easier to choose, but it's like picking your favorite child, you know? Like, it's just wrong. My favorite mousse. Hands down, I can say my favorite mousse is the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Mousse. This is also just one of my favorite stylers, period. So, there's that. If you absolutely needed a dry shampoo, that would be the IGK First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. This one is silicone free. It's hard to find a silicone free dry shampoo for some reason. This one gives me amazing second day hair or even first day hair. Honestly, it gives me nice volume. So that would be my dry shampoo pick for sure. If you needed a shine spray, I would grab the main choice exotic Kool-Aid shine spray. This one oh, it smells amazing. It smells like Kool-Aid, like it's a tropical party and you really do see that shine on your hair and it's not like a greasy shine. You would need an edge control. To be honest, I don't have a favorite edge control. I've tried a whole bunch, but a lot of them flake. I've even tried Eco Styler Gel for edge control. It always looks good, but it ends up flaking, or at least the olive oil one. So right now, which I used today, I'm trying the TPH by Taraji Edge Control. It's their slick edge control treatment. We'll see, I don't really have an opinion. Let me know what your favorite edge control is because I need one. If I needed a refresh to tangle spray, I would go for the Rizos Curls um, Refresh and Detangle Spray, Coconut Oil, Olive Oil, Shea Butter, no sulfates, no parabens, no silicone, love it. If I needed a co-wash, I would grab my Curl Smith Curl Quenching Conditioning Wash. As I've mentioned before, I've never liked any co-washes. The ones that I've tried before either don't clean my hair enough to be a shampoo and they don't detangle well enough to be a conditioner. So I just hate it. But this one actually gives me a good clean and it has amazing slips. So this is the only co-wash I like 
on the market. If I needed a pre-poo, then I would grab the Curl Smith Super Slip Prebiotic Primer, and I love it because it has rice water. As you guys know, I'm trying to grow out my hair, so I love that ingredient. It's supposed to be a super slip, but I honestly don't really like it for detangling. I just like it for the ingredients and to use with my shampoo. Uh, the Curl Smith shampoo is also another good shampoo. Oh, I have so many favorites. But now let's break it down even more. If I only could survive with three hair products, I would grab a shampoo, a deep conditioner, and one styling product. Ooh, this is tough. This is tough. I guess I would pick the shade. Do I even like how this smells anymore? Hmm. Oh, I remember. As good as the ingredients are in the shampoo, I actually don't like the smell. The whole Jamaican black castor oil line, I think, smells like Play-Doh. So maybe this isn't a favorite. I don't know about the shampoo anymore. I think I'm going to switch my vote to the Curl Smith Wash and Scrub Detox Probiotic Shampoo. This is a pricier one. I could just go with like a Not Your Mother shampoo, but this one I think has better ingredients. Oh, this one also has apple cider vinegar. Oh yeah. And it doesn't smell like apple cider vinegar or, or Play-Doh. Yeah, okay, final answer. I'm going with the Curl Smith Wash and Scrub Detox Probiotic as my shampoo. Check. If I had to only have one deep conditioner, I'm going with the Not Your Mother's Wild Matcha Green Tea Apple Blossom. Check. If I only could have one styler, ooh. Oh, it's between my Curl Talk Mousse and Dippity Doo. I'm gonna have to go with my Dippity Doo. And there you have it. This is how I would survive my life. So I know it can be very discouraging to watch a bunch of influencers or YouTubers that have all these products and you're trying to compare yourself to us on camera that get a lot of this stuff for free. So don't, okay? You are spending your hard earned money and I want you to buy what works for you. If you like it, keep using it. If you don't, return it. I'm not gonna be mad at you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. You also can follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. That's where I give you guys the quickest little updates on what I'm putting in my hair in my Instagram story. Side note, do you guys like my earrings? Aren't they cute? They're from Stone Cold Lux, and I just might be doing a giveaway with them on Instagram very soon. So if you wanna get some free jewelry, follow me. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, Bianca Renee, today. Thank you.